social business. It's very simple. I do business not for me, I do business for you. I do business to take about, care about your problems. I see problems and I'm taking care about it. So this idea was very close, and that's why I told you my story from home, it was very close as a small boy to me when I saw the problems of my mother. It was in my, in my, in my DNR, it was in my growing up. It was normal to be active and to do something and to use my capacity, to use my privilege, my healthy body, my healthy mind, not only for myself, to use it also for the society and for others. So in 2007, when I meet uh, uh, this beautiful gentleman, Professor Yunus, I was thinking, oh wow, I can use my whole creativity, my whole experience for this beautiful idea. I talked to my daughter and to my son, and I asked for a permission. This meanwhile, I uh, was father, very happy father, very lucky father. My two childs are a beautiful child. They are very, uh, they're healthy. I'm very happy to be with them. And uh, the both are there. And I asked them, I said, listen, you are now a little bit older, like this beautiful girl behind me. Uh, you have everything. Your mother is there. Your staff is there. There's millions and billions of children out who doesn't have a father, who doesn't have anything. I want to serve myself to the next generation. And can I ask you for the permit? My, daughter, my son was uh, uh, 15, my daughter was 13 at this moment. So it was a big decision for them uh, to say yes. But at the end they say yes, they understand it. I meet them many times now. But I totally dedicated my work to Professor Yunus to see what I can do for the circumstance, for doesn't matter if it is my child or it's any other child or it's my family or any other family. There are so many families. I was so privileged in my life. I was so lucky in my life. I have a good body. I have a good uh, health situation conditions. I have a good mind positions. So long then I want to, so, so long then I have this condition, try to be so much there for others as possible. So I re replaced all my CEOs, I replaced all my positions as a responsible guy for my business. I sold many businesses profit orientated. I calculate all the money, 10% I give to my family, the rest I invested in social business. And I first I went to Bangladesh because definitely I know if you want to learn something, you have to go to the people who know the solutions. And we are often thinking then we have to go to the MIT, we have to go to Harvard, we have to go to the big universities in the world to learn something. But the real reality of learning something is by the, the poor people are not stupid. They're just poor. And they have an enormous capacity of finding solutions. And I was during my journey in India and during my journey in the seven years, I know of course a lot of uh, village people, and Grameen means village. So I went to Bangladesh and I study what's going on in Bangladesh. And I was so impressed, so absolutely impressed what's going on. It was a whole conglomerate, a huge corporation group of more than 50 companies only taking care about the people. It's Grameen Bank is only so s a little part of the whole stuff. I find out there is more than 50 companies designed by these gentlemen and ladies and gentlemen from the Grameen family. I discovered something before. I discovered BASF as the biggest chemical company, Volkswagen as the biggest car manufacturer. I discovered how Bertelsmann is working, how Allianz is working. You know, I know all these companies very well from the whole structure, strategy, from the uh, vision, mission, value, behavior, all what you have. And so I know it from the inside, outside, I know how that works. And then suddenly in Bangladesh, I discover a conglomerate of more than 50 companies who have a total different way to be founded. And how that was founded? Basically, that was founded on the way in 74, when Bangladesh becomes independent. Professor Yunus went back to Bangladesh to want to make himself useful for his home. Very normal, very natural, you know, if every one of us have a home and every one of us want to make himself useful for his home. This is 
is a very natural stuff. So he went home and he was a young professor at Chittagong University and he teach together with Professor Latife and with 17 students. He built a group like every day, you know, when he teach the economic laws and the business uh, uh, teaching, he saw, okay, this is all the intellectual teaching of business, but people next door, there are dying and they have nothing and how I can make myself useful for the people next door. So every day, these two professors and the 17 students, after the school, they go out and try, can I make myself useful for others? Today you even have not any go to, to go out, you just have to sit together and open your computer and open your windows in the computer and see what you can do for others. Uh, 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 in the world. But at this time they go out, they work with the poor people, they make it happen. And these 17 students and these two professors are still working together. They're shaping these 50 companies and not a single chair belongs to them. They all could be today multi-billionaires, but their own nothing. They designed these 50 companies, hospitals, renewable energy, um, midwares, telephone companies, telecom companies, internet companies, um, whatever, banks, all then it's solving problems in the country. It's an enormous fascinating story and uh, 2008 then I was very luckily because Professor Yunus somehow comes good along with me and he said and I traveled for one year with him. One year he was invited, you know, he get up to 150 invitations a day, every day, to speak in a university, to speak to big um, companies. Nearly every of the 207 existing country invited him to ask him how, what we can do. So it was an extremely invitation about Professor Yunus. So I go with him on journey for one year. And then I saw, like today, and uh, of course when he's speaking, I felt a difference. I saw an enormous interest community to want to act on his examples and on the, on the way of the model of social business. But there was no organization behind Professor Yunus who taking care of because they're taking care about Bangladesh. And I saw young people, I saw people from all the best uh, universities from uh, working at the corporations, working there, and that was knocking, writing, saying, can I do something? I want to make myself useful for the global uh, challenge. And then I saw, okay, I need something what I call Grameen Creative Lab. I need a creative laboratorium for people who are in an interest community, where they have a place to go, and where they build the competence, where we share the knowledge, where we are really knowing what's going on. And so we did. From the Grameen Creative Lab, I opened it as an entrepreneur. I found it, I financed it, and uh, we starting to hire people. And the people, what we hired, it was now next to me as an entrepreneur and communication. It was about people from London uh, School of Economic, RGC, you know, from all the different universities. Five years working experience, a master, and working by Boston Consulting, McKinsey, um, Accenture, uh, JP Morgan. And I was uh, between 28 and 30 years old, and I just knocking on the shoulders, or even they come to me, and they say, hey, I want to work with the Grameen uh, family. And I say, yes, you can work. The first three months volunteering, and then you go to Bangladesh, you go on the ground, you see what's going on, and after three months I pay you around 60% from this what you earn today, and then we start to work. Today we are 27 people, and we are very lucky. Then last year we opened at Japan, the Koji University, at, at the uh, Grameen Creative Lab at Koji University, and today this very, very promising project, the Grameen Creative Lab at uh, National University of Singapore. And we have uh, uh, already with more than 19 different uh, university chairs and corporations and uh, we talk a lot and we make a lot of different social business labs, how we call it, how we do it today. We, we had an interactive of more than 6,000 students last year 
and um, uh, we had beautiful experience in one way and in the same way we are created a lot of different joint venture.